Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Leah, and this is another Wednesday Whips video. So, I managed to fit all of my whips into this bag that Marion made me. So, um, that's impressive because I worked on quite a bit. I have, let's see, two, no, I'm sorry, three blanket whips, and then some, uh, granny squares so that's impressive that's very impressive so I'm definitely getting a lot of use out of it okay so I'll show y'all the granny squares first and I just have to say I just have to get this off my chest y'all can be my sounding board I just got back from Publix as some of you may know by now I've mentioned it like in every whip video Wednesdays um, are the days, or Wednesday, I should say, is the day that I go and I do like my weekly sales ad grocery shopping. Like that's when the new sales ads come out for my area. And so I just got back from doing that. And I was in a great mood today because I got great deals at my local grocery store. They had a bunch of like canned food on clearance. And then Hobby Lobby, I found a bunch of stuff there. Um, well, not a bunch. I found several good things there that I will be showing y'all in a video I will put out tomorrow. I'm about to film it after I get done filming this. And then I went to Publix. I usually don't have any issues in Publix, but today the cashier thought I was a guy. And the entire transaction, she kept calling me sir, 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 and uh, oh my gosh. Normally, I would just laugh it off like I would think it was hilarious, but for some reason today, it really triggered me. Like, I was very sensitive about it. I didn't say anything to her, but oh my gosh, it just really bothered me. And even, like, when I got in the truck, I was on the verge of tears, um... I don't know why it just bothered me so bad so I just had to get that off my chest because ugh, it just really it I don't like to throw around the word triggered too much but it really triggered me for some reason <laughs> like a very visceral reaction so anyway I just had to get that off my chest real quick um, <laughs> okay now I'm laughing about it but at the time it really bothered me okay so with all that being said, I worked a little bit on the cardigan. Um, as y'all know, I had COVID. Hopefully YouTube won't fly that. Anyway, I had it and I'm over it now, thank goodness. It was pretty rough. But I, So I finally started back working on the cardigan and I did three squares that just, this is, I'm working on the last sleeve now. That's the last thing I'm working on and then I need to do the well, then I need to attach the sleeve, and then I need to do the border around, like, the perimeter, and it'll be done. So, these are the first three on the last sleeve. I think I need nine all together. So, two of them are like this, and then this is the other one. And then I started working on some solid granny squares. This was my first time ever making one and I have to say I think I did pretty well for my first time. I really enjoyed making this. It was super super simple. Hmm. Excuse me. I swear. I always either yawn, cough, or sneeze or have the sniffles in every video. It never fails. So anyway did that. Very proud. This is going to end up being like a blanket. Um, I have several different colors that are like coordinating so this is one of the new projects I was telling you all about so that there's that and then this one's really exciting um I learned how to do the like circle granny squares so I have two so far this I have three colors this pretty coral color this is that um, crafters secret like the big skeins that were on clearance at Hobby Lobby this past uh, clearance sale for like two, I think they were two forty nine. 
so that this is like a really pretty coral color and then this is that yellow that Deb gave me in some happy mail the um, sorry I'm about to yawn again I'm trying to choke it down the uh, I love this yarn this is it so really pretty so I've got these two colors and then there's a like really pretty bright magenta that I haven't worked up yet I was going to bring it in here and I forgot um, but anyway you can kind of get an idea of what it'll look like. Okay, so that's it for the patches. Um, here, let me get these kind of out of the way here. Okay, so now for the blankets. Oh, goodness. They're kind of... Of course, my dogs have to start barking. They're doing, like, road work or something out here. I can hear the trucks going back and forth. Um, so here is this, I almost said Homespun, that's the Lime brand name, or is it Lime brand? Homespun is like the name brand, name brand, if there is such a thing with yarn. Anyway, this is the Yarn Bee version, it's called Fireside, I got it at Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, this is so so like cozy it's great to work with I swear it never fails okay I worked on this quite a bit yesterday I did several rows so I'm doing this in two different colors because like I mentioned in a previous video once I started working with this brown I realized I was not going to have enough yarn to make a decent sized blanket so my Hobby Lobby had three skeins of this charcoal color left for a dollar 49 a piece I believe mm, no a dollar 74 a piece so I went ahead and got those three and I actually think they go together pretty well it's like an earthy toned color scheme going on here so oh my gosh this is so fluffy I wish you guys could feel it this stuff makes a great blanket. I've also seen people make like um, scarves, like big chunky scarves with them. But oh my gosh, so cozy. I mean, it's not really good for summertime, <laughs> but I can imagine in the wintertime it is going to feel so cozy. So there's that. And then I'm trying to figure out where to put this stuff like. I am filming in my husband's like storage room. This is where my where I film because this has the best lighting and it's like the most quiet. Cause like if I film in there, my dogs will go crazy. Um, but it's like a little cluttered, <laughs> so uh, you know it's it's kind of hard to find a place to put stuff. Um, so let's see. This is the rainbow blanket. I've worked on this quite a bit too. I'm already on the second row of yellow. So I'm about halfway done with it at this point, I think. And there they go. It's turned out really well, if I do say so myself. And I bought the yarn today to make the border with. It's going to be like a, I'm calling it a cloud border, but it's actually going to be like a I think it's called the shell stitch or something it's kind of like a half circular fluffy looking thing anyway um, I had to get some yarn which will be in the Hobby Lobby haul that I'll be filming here shortly um, it's the <laughs> I'm having a, a lapse in memory here Oh, uh, is it the, it's the DK way. It's like three way. But it's the, I love this. I think it's still the, I love this yarn. It's acrylic, but it's like the three way kind, you know, like the little bitty skeins, like that big. They're like, I think $2.29 a piece, which today is 30% off. So it was like a dollar and some change. But anyway, I'm going to use that because I was thinking a four way with how drapey this yarn is it's really it's kind of thin and drapey I think a four-way would be too heavy and the edges would like collapse on themselves 
So I'm going to use the thinner three weight, like this this yarn's three weight two. Um, and so I think that will work out a lot better. But anyway, there's that one. I'm in a very chatty mood today. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind. Okay, and then the last blanket I have <clears throat> is, I've really worked on this one a lot. I'm almost done with it. I have one more donut to go through and then I'll be done with it. And I have this much left of the third one. Um, about, about a third of the way maybe. Okay. This is the mitered granny square blanket. I hope y'all can see it. It's so pretty. I love these colors. And as always, I will leave the link to any type of tutorials that I used in the description down below. Um, and this is using this, oh my gosh, my yarn is caught on my sandal. <laughs> um, this is using some of the Ogo, Red Heart Ogo yarn I got at Walmart for, some of them were 50 cents and some of them were a dollar per donut. Um, gosh, this was a, mm, this was a while back, like a few months ago at least. Um, but anyway, I got a bunch of them. Gosh, I still have a bunch of them I need to work through. But anyway, this yarn's okay. I really like the colors, but the dye bleeds off on your hands, like especially this really, these really vivid colors. Um, and it's kind of rough and it has like a, almost like a waxy feel to it. It's really stiff. Um, I'm sure, you know, it softens in the wash. I haven't actually washed any yet. Um, but I don't know. It's okay. I mean, for 50 cents to a dollar, I can't really complain, but it's just something to keep in mind if you ever are interested in working with it. So, that is it for this whip video. Um, so, well, I'm not going to apologize, but if the rant, or not the ranting, but just the talking chit-chat gets on your nerves, um, sorry, I guess. I was in a chatty mood today. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all be sure to let me know down below what y'all are working on. I always love to hear from you guys. I really appreciate all the comments. Um, and yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day.